right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody to another installment of Crypto Moose. My name is Mitchell Bouchard and I am your crypto and NFT guide or whatever you wanna think about um, when you're watching this channel. Basically what we're doing is we're gonna be talking about Meld and I really wanna get into it because Meld is a project right now that I am more excited about than any other. Hands down, okay? So let's cut over to the big screen. And what's so unique about Meld is that they are building a bank essentially for crypto. So one of the benefits to cryptocurrencies is that it is decentralized, okay? So when you take Bitcoin, for example, I could send you some Bitcoin, um, which would be a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. We wouldn't need a middleman. We wouldn't need a bank. And that's what Meld's doing. Um, essentially what they are doing though, there is they're taking that aspect and bringing it to the next level in terms of interoperability and also really helping out the Cardano chain, right? So let's get into, um, the entire idea of Meld. So Meld is the first DeFi non-custodial banking protocol. So right out the gate, that's really cool. But what does that mean? How do I educate you on what that means? Well, DeFi is decentralized finance. So instead of, again, needing a bank to loan out your assets, you're going to be able to use Meld as your bank. Essentially, they will build the applications in which you can hold your assets and get full APY, earn what you're supposed to earn. Um, let's, let's, look, let's look at it this way. Right now, you're probably using a bank. Most of you need a bank account for different transactions. So you have $1,000 in your bank account. And if you want to earn money with the bank, they're going to give you very, very little. Because what they do is they take your money, they loan it out so many different times, and they earn all the rewards using your assets. And some of you may not know that, but this is where crypto is going to explode. It's one of my top sectors, gaming, DeFi, right? This is DeFi. Um, also just earning EPY is going to be the biggest aspect, right? EPY is going to be essentially the dividends, what you get rewarded for loaning out your assets. Um, so non-custodial, what that means is that they do not hold your assets. You can do that. So we're going to get into that in this episode and why I'm so excited about it. But this is a Trezor Model T. I talk about it every dang episode, but this is a hardware wallet. So basically, I can hold my tokens with this wallet um, and, and my assets are held offline, all right? What Meld is going to allow you to do, okay? And I believe it's going to be Q1 of 2023. So coming up soon, depending on when you're watching this, I know I'm gonna be right about Meld for these reasons. You're gonna be able to hold assets offline and then earn APY through Meld's app. And we're going to get into what it looks like. But that's what Meld is doing. Um, again, Meld is the first DeFi non-custodial banking protocol. So they're building these protocols. They are building these banking systems, if you will, that relate better to crypto and give you the power as the user. You get to earn what you're supposed to earn, which is how crypto is supposed to be. We've seen the collapse of FTX uh, somewhat recently. Uh, by the way, I'm not a Rangers fan. It's just a cool mug. Um, so I'm drinking out of this. And to make a long story short, again, you have it right here on the website. Check it out, meld.com. Always do your research. Just because I'm interested in a project, I'm not telling you to get anything. This is just what I've been researching. I was into the Meld ISPO. And we'll get into that as well. But you can securely lend and borrow both crypto and fiat currencies with ease and stake your Mel tokens for APY. What they're doing is they're building a protocol, an entire app. They're going to have a desktop and mobile app. And they're going to allow you to fully integrate all these different um, blockchains like Polygon, Ethereum, we'll, we'll show you, Cardano. And you're going to be able to use their Mel token for transaction costs. and What's beautiful about it is that you're going to have somewhat of a centralized like um, app. Like you're going to have a centralized piece of software where you can view your portfolio. You can manage your wealth. 
So when you hear these terms like your mental wealth, that's what they're doing. They're, they're building something that I think the crypto world needs. This is going to be really sweet and I'm very passionate about it. So let's get into it a little bit more. Um, what Meld has is they have these dev diaries and to take it a step further, they now have um, introducing Meld design diaries. So basically what this is, is this is a look of what they're, what they're building, okay? So you have their dev diaries, that's more about the coding, so it's a little bit boring, at least in my eyes, because I don't understand coding. I'm sure a lot of you don't either. Um, it's, it's extremely complex, but their design diaries gives you a visual representation of what they've been building. Um, so this is one of their first ones. Let's get into it. This is on Twitter, and of course, you always need to be on Twitter, and you need to be in the Discord. That's how I got early on this project, but if you're watching this at this point in time, you're, you're not late for Meld. Meld is like a, I believe a $30 million market cap. I think we're gonna 30X, that's just what I believe. Um, so here you go, this is going to be one of their first, I, I believe this is their first, yeah. The first, um, their first design diary. So you get a nice insight of what their app is going to look like, okay? So again, this is going to be an all-in-one hub. And what's beautiful is the interoperability aspect. So they're allowing for uh, different blockchains to be viewed on the app and you're gonna be able to access them and bridge them over, et cetera, like amazing. The, the big thing that they're building is the Akamon bridge. So I don't know if, you've, if you're have if you familiar with Meld at all, but they're they're making it possible for these different chains to, to, to live in the same ecosystem, so to speak, okay? So let's take a look here. So you've got an example of what the app will look like, right? So you'd have your account, and these are bank managers. These will be NFTs you can own. Um, we'll talk about that in a different episode. But you can see here, you have your fiat, your crypto, and you have all these other different coins, okay? So we'll just go through a little bit of the wording. We have divided up the basic interface into activities at the top with account being an overview. And again, this is what I've been waiting for in crypto. I want an all-in-one place where I can see my portfolio. Everything is held on my own private keys, so non-custodial again. So custodial, meaning that the exchange or the, the wallet or the app is holding your keys. Non-custodial is when you get to own your keys, which is what crypto is all about, right? It gives power back to the individual. So... Let's watch this little clip here. And this is what makes Meld so amazing. I'm gonna have to get my cup because this is this is exciting, okay? And you can research all this yourself as well. We'll even go full screen, okay? As you can see, somebody is clicking through. This, was, this will be your interface. This is what you will see. And it's beautiful. It, it's all, an all-in-one ecosystem where you can view your digital assets, your tokens, and you can lend, borrow, you become your own bank. Like this is amazing. Look, look at, at, at all the different blockchains that are that are tremendous layer one blockchains, by the way. Look at this. Okay. And this is all in the test net, so they're just testing these things out. But I don't know if you noticed that, but but they were easily able to just make a transaction and it's using meld for, for that transaction as well. So they have their own native token, meaning they have their own token called meld and you can use that for transaction purposes on um, the app that they're going to be building. But this is amazing, right? You get, you get your, your, your entire account view, you can stake on here. Um, it's going to be sweet um, if you're not researching this, I'm telling you, now's the time to check out this project. I think this is going to be this is going to be the one that a lot of people will miss out on. Okay, so um, we are maintaining a red bar at the bottom. Um, again, purpose is um, for branding as well because they're branding the color red, right? Um, they're gonna have dark and light mode. So here, here are some more visuals. And they, they've been doing such a good job at, 
at explaining this visually, right? And what's great is that it's an all-in-one bank and it's all it's not based on your past credit history and everything like that. This is based on, for example, you have your risk score. So you can make investments with this. You can lend out and borrow your assets and, and they're taking this all to the next level. So you can see at the top, um, staking 6%. So everything that you own, you can stake, right? Because people are going to borrow against it. This is, this is the future. This is where, if this actually comes out at 40% of what I think it's going to come out at, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a winner. This is, this is what the channel's all about. Comment down below. Um, we're we're going to keep going. I'm not going to stop the episode right here. Um, I'd like to go 15 minutes, but ladies and gentlemen, th this is what, this is what crypto is about, right? This is, this is what, um, this is what we've been waiting for, sort of speak, right? So again, um, this is just everything else that they're building. And, and of course, they're working on their app. So they're going to have a native app as well where you can utilize everything as well. And I believe one of the coolest aspects is that you're going to be able to have this all-in-one app, see what you own, see what you're borrowing against, so lending and borrowing, and then you're going to be able to make purchases as well with their debit card. So this is going to be really sweet. So imagine owning all your tokens, they're safe, and you're able to make transactions and convert your token assets to fiat upon transaction. Like that's what it's all about. So my 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 advice for you, uh, Meld is one one penny right now, a penny and a half. Check it out. Consider, you know, maybe making that investment. I think it's a good move. Um, if you need to learn more, check out their white paper. So every crypto project, you have what's known as a white paper. So this is MELD's. They, they've also updated it. So it was updated a year ago. Um, but it's beautiful. I saw this white paper and got into their ISPO. So that's their initial stake pool offering. Um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go to pool.pm. I'm always transparent with everybody. So we're going to go to one of my wallets. Um, so here's one of my Cardano wallets. And... I have a Mel Diamond hand. So I was airdropped this beautiful token. It's worth like 1200 ADA, but I also earned some, um, some uh, Meld as well. Um, Meld is so cheap right now. Um, I'm personally going to be buying some during this dip. Um, I didn't even want to make this episode because I want to keep it somewhat secret so I could, you know, get in into it myself. But anyways, check it out. Check out Meld, Meld's Twitter. They do a really good job there. Do your own research, but based on what you could even see here, I promise you, this is this is something that you should be researching at bare minimum, right? Because how many projects that that you get to expose yourself to that are going to be making this much innovation in their team? Check out their team. Like Ken, here's Ken. This is Ken's uh, Ken's little profile there. Ken Oling and and all these other guys that are working on the project. They are believers of what Meld has to offer, okay? So it's all we're going to have for you. Don't forget, you should have a hardware wallet. Do your own research. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more episodes like this. But Meld, I'm telling you, Meld is going to be the one. And don't forget, not your keys, not your cheese.